Chapter 1, A Brief History of Fast Food Fast food has become an integral part of modern society's food culture. The fast food industry history can be traced back to the early 1900s when street vendors sold quick snacks such as hot dogs and falafels. However, the fast food industry as we know it today was mainly shaped by Ray Kroc and his acquisition of McDonald's in 1961. The history of McDonald's began in 1940 when Richard and Morris McDonald opened a drive-in restaurant in San Bernardino, California. The restaurant soon gained popularity due to its efficient service and simple menu. Customers could order hamburgers, fries, and soft drinks without leaving their cars, with each item prepared in less than a minute. In 1954, Ray Kroc, a milkshake machine salesman, visited the McDonald Brothers restaurant and was amazed by their innovative system. Kroc saw the potential for franchising the McDonald's concept on a national scale and convinced the brothers to let him franchise their brand. Ray Kroc bought the rights to franchise McDonald's and opened his first restaurant in Des Plaines, Illinois, in 1955. The success of McDonald's is largely attributed to its ability to cut down on food preparation time, making it possible to serve customers quickly. The company's model involved the use of frozen products, which allowed for better inventory control and consistency in taste. Additionally, McDonald's introduced the concept of a self-service counter, where customers could pick up their orders, reducing the need for staff and further increasing efficiency. In the mid minus 1960s, McDonald's began to expand internationally with the first restaurant opening in Canada. Since then, McDonald's has become a global brand with more than 36,000 locations in 119 countries as of 2021. The company has adapted its menu to cater to different cultures and dietary restrictions, introducing items such as the McSpicy Paneer Burger in India, the Mek Falafel in Egypt, and the Veggie Mc Wrap in the United Kingdom. Despite its global success, McDonald's has also faced criticism for its impact on public health and the environment. The company has been criticized for its high calorie, high sugar, and high-sodium menu items, which have been linked to obesity, diabetes, and other health problems. The fast food giant has also been criticized for contributing to deforestation, greenhouse gas emissions, and plastic waste. In conclusion, the history of fast food and McDonald's is a testament to the power of innovation and adaptability in the food industry. McDonald's set the standard for fast food, creating a system that catered to customers' need for speed and convenience. However, as the global food industry continues to evolve, fast food companies like McDonald's must adapt to changing consumer preferences and concerns over public health, sustainability, and animal welfare. Question, what inspired the creation of fast food? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Fast Food Industry Today The fast food industry, with its multi-billion dollar revenue, has a global reach that has touched every corner of the world. Pioneered by the likes of McDonald's and KFC, fast food chains have become a staple in many cultures serving up burgers, fries, fried chicken, and pizza to hungry customers on the go. Despite criticism from some quarters for the negative health effects of fast food, the industry has continued to grow year on year. Today, there are over 200,000 fast food restaurants across the world, generating around $570 billion in annual revenue. This figure is expected to continue to rise, with demand for fast food continuing to outstrip supply. One of the reasons behind the success of the fast food industry has been its ability to adapt to changing consumer demand. From vegan options to gluten-free menus, fast food chains are savvy at identifying trends and tailoring their menus to a diverse customer base. Additionally, 
Many fast food chains have branched out into home delivery services, offering customers even more flexibility in how they access their favorite fast food fix. Despite its success, the fast food industry has also come under scrutiny for the environmental impact of its operations. With millions of meals served every day, fast food chains generate an enormous amount of packaging waste, and there are growing concerns around the carbon footprint of transporting food around the world. Nevertheless, many fast food chains have committed to reducing their environmental impact with initiatives such as reducing packaging waste and sourcing local ingredients. Despite the challenges faced by the fast food industry, it remains an integral part of the global food landscape. From the early days of McDonald's to the more recent rise of street food-style vendors, fast food has proven to be a resilient and adaptable business. Whether serving up cheeseburgers or sushi, the fast food industry is a testament to the power of innovation and entrepreneurship. Question, what is the current state of the fast food industry? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3 the pros and cons of fast food. As Emma drove past the Golden Arches, she couldn't help but think about fast food advantages and the many reasons why she frequented the drive through She was on a tight schedule and needed to grab something quick before her next appointment. Plus, she loved the convenience of not having to cook or clean up afterward. But as she bit into her greasy burger and salty fries, she couldn't help but feel guilty about the fast food disadvantages. The food was loaded with calories, sodium, and unhealthy fats. Emma knew she needed to make a change in her diet, but it was just too darn convenient. The next day, Emma read an article about the pros and cons of fast food. It outlined the convenience factor as well as the affordability of fast food but it also discussed the health consequences of consuming fast food regularly. Emma realized that she had been prioritizing her convenience over her health and knew that she needed to make a change. She started by packing healthy snacks for her on the go lifestyle. She brought along an apple and a bag of almonds instead of stopping at the drive through Emma also made an effort to cook more at home and limit her fast food intake to once a week. At first, the change was difficult. Emma missed the convenience of fast food and found herself reaching for unhealthy snacks when she was in a rush. But as time went on, she felt better about herself and her choices. Emma no longer felt guilty about the fast food disadvantages and was proud of herself for making a positive change in her life. She realized that convenience shouldn't trump her health, and that taking the time to prepare and plan her meals was worth it in the end. As Emma drove past the golden arches once again, she smiled to herself, remembering how far she had come. While fast food advantages were still valid in some situations, she knew that her health and well-being were more important than convenience. Emma had made a positive change for herself, and that was something to be proud of. Question, what are some advantages and disadvantages of fast food? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, The Fast Food Menu The fast food menu was overwhelming. Tom stood in front of the giant illuminated board, his eyes scanning the endless options of burgers, fries, and drinks. He was craving something greasy and delicious, but making a decision seemed impossible. A person could easily spend an hour studying the menu, comparing prices, and debating which meal offered the most value. Tom had always appreciated the simplicity of fast food joints. As a kid, a burger and fries was enough to make him happy. However, as he grew older, eating junk food took a toll on his health. Trying to be more mindful of his choices, Tom studied the nutrition facts on the menu. It was alarming how many calories, fat, and sodium were hidden in these meals. He felt a pang of guilt, knowing that this was not the healthiest option. Finally, Tom decided on a double cheeseburger, 
a large fries, and a chocolate shake. He placed his order, cringing as he saw the total on a screen. It was almost as much as he made in an hour. But he justified his purchase by reminding himself that he didn't eat fast food often. Plus, he deserved a treat after a long week at work. As Tom waited for his food, he watched the other customers. Families with young kids, teenagers on a lunch break, and elderly people on a budget. They all seemed to be enjoying their meals without hesitation. Tom couldn't help but wonder if they were also aware of the unhealthy nature of fast food. When his order number was called, Tom eagerly walked up to the counter to retrieve his meal. His mouth watered at the sight of the hot, fresh fries nestled beside the juicy burger. He could feel the calories oozing from each bite, but the delicious taste was worth it. As he sat down to eat, Tom realized that fast food was both a blessing and a curse. It was quick, convenient, and affordable. But it was also unhealthy, unsustainable, and a contributor to obesity and other health problems. Tom vowed to make better choices in the future, but for now, he would enjoy his guilty pleasure. After finishing his meal, Tom walked out of the fast food joint with a full stomach and a guilty conscience. He knew he had consumed more calories than he needed, but he couldn't deny the comfort of a greasy burger and fries. He realized that in moderation, fast food could be a treat, but as a regular meal it could have serious consequences. Tom decided to make a promise to himself to dine on healthier choices more often. But he also made a mental note to indulge in his favorite junk food every now and then. After all, life was all about finding balance. Question, what kinds of food are typically served at fast food restaurants? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Fast Food and Health Fast food and health have been on a collision course for decades. It is no secret that fast food is typically high in calories, fat, and sodium while lacking in essential nutrients. Obesity and heart disease are two of the most common health consequences associated with frequent consumption of fast food. Carla had always enjoyed the convenience of grabbing a quick meal on the go. However, she began to realize that her waistline was growing, and she often felt sluggish and lacked energy. It was time to make a change, but where to start? After doing some research, Carla learned that there were healthier options available at many fast food restaurants. She started to look for salads or grilled chicken sandwiches instead of burgers and fries. She also made a conscious effort to cut back on sugary drinks and opt for water instead. The results were almost immediate. Carla had more energy felt better overall, and lost several pounds. Her new eating habits were having a positive impact on her health. Unfortunately, not everyone has the same level of success as Carla. Obesity rates continue to climb, and heart disease remains the leading cause of death in many countries. It is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach. Governments, health organizations, and schools have a responsibility to educate the public about the dangers of fast food and the importance of making healthy choices. The food industry also needs to be held accountable for their role in the obesity epidemic. Fast food companies must offer healthier options and limit the marketing of unhealthy products to children and adolescents. Individuals also have a role to play. It is important to be mindful of what we eat and make healthy choices whenever possible. It can be difficult to resist the temptation of fast food, but with a little planning, it is possible to find healthier options. Fast food and health do not have to be at odds. It is possible to enjoy the occasional burger or pizza while maintaining a healthy lifestyle. The key is to make informed decisions and practice moderation. Carla felt empowered by her ability to make positive changes in her life. She continued to explore new ways to eat healthy, including cooking more meals at home 
and trying new recipes. Her journey was not always easy, but it was worth it. She felt better than ever before, and her newfound energy and confidence were infectious. In the end, Carla's experience with fast food and health taught her that small changes can make a big difference. It is never too late to start making healthier choices, and the benefits are endless. With a little effort and determination, anyone can improve their health and well-being. Question. How does fast food consumption affect our health? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6. Fast Food and the Environment As soon as they entered the fast food restaurant, Lily cringed. She couldn't help but think about the impact that fast food chains have on the environment. From the deforestation caused by the massive amounts of land needed for the cattle to graze, to the water pollution caused by the excretion from these animals, the fast food industry is responsible for a large proportion of the world's environmental issues. As they waited in line, Lily felt compelled to strike up a conversation with the person next to her. His name was Tom, and he was a passionate environmentalist. Lily was surprised to hear that Tom had been boycotting fast food chains for years because of the environmental impact they had. It's crazy to think about how much damage these corporations are causing, Tom said, shaking his head. They exploit our natural resources, all for the sake of a cheap burger. Lily nodded in agreement, feeling a sense of regret for having supported these corporations for so long. She couldn't help but wonder if her efforts to recycle and reduce her carbon footprint were pointless, when the fast food industry was causing so much damage. As they approached the counter, Lily looked up at the menu board. She couldn't help but notice the lack of vegetarian options. She wondered if the fast food industry was so heavily reliant on meat because it was cheaper to produce, or perhaps because they didn't care about the impact it had on the environment. After they received their food, Lily sat down with Tom, and they continued their conversation about the impact of fast food on the environment. They discussed the importance of reducing waste and ensuring that the products we buy are sustainable and ethically sourced. As they finished their meal, Lily made a promise to herself that she would be more conscious about the impact of her choices. She would start to educate herself on where her food comes from and make an effort to support companies that value sustainability and ethical practices. As they left the restaurant, Lily couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment. By taking the first step towards a more sustainable and responsible lifestyle, she knew that she was doing her part to protect the environment. She realized that making a difference didn't have to be a monumental effort. Small changes, such as choosing to eat plant-based meals or bringing reusable containers, could contribute to a more sustainable future. And if everyone made these small changes, the impact could be significant. Lily smiled as she walked down the street, feeling grateful for the eye-opening conversation she had with Tom. She knew that there was a long road ahead, but she was determined to make a difference and protect the planet for generations to come. Question, what is the environmental impact of fast food? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7, The Fast Food Industry and Employment The fast food industry has always been known to offer low wages and unfavorable working conditions. It's a reality that Yara, a young college student working at a local fast food chain is forced to face. Despite the grueling workload and tight deadlines, Yara continues to work at the fast food chain to save up for her college tuition. She dreams of a day when she'll be able to leave this job behind and pursue her passion in the field of medicine. Yara's shifts usually start early in the morning, where she quickly gets into her uniform and starts prepping for the day's work. The restaurant's kitchen is hot and humid, and the smell of sizzling meat fills the air. 
the continuous drive through orders and long queues at the front counter keep the employees on their toes the pace is fast and the pressure is high it's a far cry from a comfortable office job but a reality for many like yara the working conditions at the fast food chain are far from ideal the air conditioning system is ineffective and the employees are sweating profusely even in the cooler months the food prep areas grills and fryers are continuously running causing the temperature to rise further there is a constant risk of injury from the hot oil knives and heavy utensils making safety measures a top priority but with the fast pace safety precautions can sometimes be overlooked putting the employees at risk despite the high safety risks employees like yara continue to work at the fast food chain sometimes even beyond their allotted shift hours overtime and extra hours are often necessary to keep the restaurant running smoothly but the employees are rarely compensated for their extra time it's a stark reminder of the low wages and limited benefits that come with working in the fast food industry yara knows that there's more to life than working in the fast food industry but for now it's a harsh reality for many young adults like herself who need a flexible job to support their education and living expenses she dreams of a day when she'll be able to work in a career that she loves one that values her skills and compensates her equitably but until then yara will continue to work hard ensuring that her customers are happy and satisfied in conclusion the fast food industry and employment remain a contentious issue globally the industry's low wages and adverse working conditions are a constant reminder of the need for change however for individuals like yara it's a temporary reality that they must embrace to achieve their dreams it's essential to remember that these workers are not just dispensable commodities but individuals with dreams and aspirations who deserve respect and consideration question what is the impact of the fast food industry on employment check the video description for the answer chapter 8 fast food and advertising as john made his way to the nearest fast food joint to grab a bite he couldn't help but notice the vivid banners and posters plastered all over the building fast food advertising was everywhere he knew the tactics were meant to lure him in but he never realized how persuasive the techniques could be until now the posters depicted mouth-watering burgers crispy fries and sugary sodas along with catchy slogans like have it your way and finger lickin good the bright and bold letters made it impossible for him to look away his stomach growled in anticipation as he walked through the doors as he ordered his meal he noticed the supersized meals on the menu which came with a larger serving of fries and a drink he knew they were unhealthy but the price seemed too good to resist The fast food industry used persuasive techniques that made people feel like they were getting a bargain. However, after indulging in his meal, John couldn't help but notice the health impact it had on him. He felt lethargic and bloated, and the grease from the burger lingered in his mouth. He realized that these fast food restaurants were only concerned about making a profit, not the health of their customers. John decided to do some research on fast food advertising and what he found shocked him. The techniques used were meant to make people crave unhealthy food and the portions were often oversized, leading to an increase in calorie intake. The brightly colored packaging and logos were designed to appeal to children, making them more susceptible to the lure of fast food. The more he delved into the subject, the more he realized the dangers of fast food advertising the health impact of indulging in these meals was evident in the rising rates of obesity heart disease and diabetes the persuasive techniques of the industry were not only harmful to people's health but also to their wallets 
Determined to make a change, John decided to start cooking his meals at home, incorporating healthier ingredients and portion control. He realized that fast food advertising was everywhere, but he had the power to make a difference in his own life. The fast food industry may use persuasive techniques to lure people in, but John knew that he could resist the temptation and choose a healthier lifestyle for himself. As he left the restaurant, he felt empowered and ready to take on the world, armed with the knowledge to make informed decisions about what he ate. Question, how does advertising influence our perception of fast food? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9. The Fast Food Consumer The fast food industry has always been bustling, but ever since the pandemic hit, fast food has become a reliable source of sustenance for many people. In fact, the demographics of fast food consumers have been steadily expanding to include people of all ages, from young children to seniors. The convenience and affordability of fast foods have become a popular choice for people on the go. However, the health implications of consuming fast food regularly cannot be ignored. With an increase in sedentary lifestyles and unhealthy eating habits, it comes as no surprise that fast food consumers are beginning to face serious health issues. The younger demographic of fast food consumers is particularly susceptible to obesity and related health issues. Yet, fast food continues to be a popular choice for consumers of all ages. For many people, fast food offers a convenient solution to their busy lifestyles. It's especially popular among those who have hectic work schedules or limited access to grocery stores. In fact, a large percentage of the fast food consumer demographic includes lower income groups who rely on fast food as their primary source of sustenance. Despite the concerns around the health implications associated with consuming fast food, the industry remains profitable. This is partly due to the fact that the fast food industry has adapted to changing times by offering healthier alternatives to their menu. Fast food chains have begun to offer vegan and vegetarian options, and many have started to incorporate healthier ingredients into their meals. This strategic approach has not only helped to keep the fast food industry profitable, but it has also allowed for a wider demographic of consumers to partake in their meals. Moreover, the fast food industry continues to strive for new and innovative ways to capture the attention of consumers, especially the younger demographic. Fast food chains have used social media platforms to connect with younger consumers and have created interactive experiences that are tailored to their interests. While the fast food industry has become more inclusive, it's essential to monitor our diets and be mindful of what we consume. As consumers, it's our responsibility to make informed decisions about what we eat and to be aware of the health implications that come with consuming fast food regularly. In conclusion, the demographics of fast food consumers have been expanding to include people of all ages, from young children to the elderly. The convenience and affordability of fast foods have become a popular choice for people who live busy lifestyles, or have limited access to alternative food sources. While the industry continues to grow and adapt to changing times, it's important to be mindful of our eating habits and make informed decisions about what we consume. By doing so, we can ensure that we maintain a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Question who typically consumes fast food? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10 the future of fast food. The future of fast food is one that demands significant changes. With the world's population growing fast, expectations for more sustainable and healthy meal options continue to grow exponentially. Nonetheless, fast food chains have always prioritized cost and convenience over ethical concerns. So far, burgers, Fries, pizzas, and other fast food staples are guilty of increasing greenhouse gas emissions, causing deforestation, 
harming animal welfare and putting human health at risk. The good news is that some restaurants are now leading the way in developing innovative, nutrient-rich meals that offer a better balance between taste, health, and environmental impact. Some fast food chains have unveiled ambitious sustainability goals, with many others soon to follow. However, transforming a slow-to-change industry won't be easy, and the process will take time. Changing demands reflect how fast food chains are turning to more plant-based options to meet customer preferences for healthier and sustainable alternatives. This means that fast food has had to adapt to changing customer preferences, expanding beyond traditional meat-based meals. A well-known sandwich chain, for example, has started testing a new Beyond Meatball marinara sandwich in response to the growing popularity of plant-based diets. McDonald's, S, on the other hand, has been running pilot programs in cities that have seen them add vegan meal options to their menus. Similar moves have been made by many other fast food outlets. Achieving genuine sustainability in the fast food industry requires a systematic approach that considers a broad range of ethical and environmental factors. Reducing food waste, sourcing ingredients ethically, minimizing packaging, and using renewable energy and resources will all play their parts. However, customers must also understand the role they have to play in achieving genuine sustainability. We must support companies that are making environmentally responsible decisions, and we must be willing to make lifestyle changes that align with our values. Despite the significant progress made in developing healthier and sustainable options, fast food chains still have a long way to go. The future of fast food depends on the willingness of these outlets to adapt to the changing needs and preferences of customers. If fast food chains can continue to evolve with sustainability in mind, there is hope that they can make a real difference in helping to improve human health, animal welfare, and the environment. People can be healthier while feeling good about their food choices, and we can all be part of building a more sustainable future. It is an exciting time to be a fast food lover, and the future is looking bright. Question. What is the future of the fast food industry? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11. Fast Food and Culture Fast food and culture have become increasingly intertwined in recent years. With the rise of fast casual dining, globalization has brought a variety of different options to consumers around the world. No longer are burgers and fries the only options for a quick meal on the go. As I stepped into the bustling fast casual restaurant, the savory aroma of grilled meat and spices filled my nostrils. People of all backgrounds and ages were chatting and laughing as they enjoyed their meals. I found a table and took a seat, taking in the colorful decor and music playing in the background. I had always been fascinated with how fast food has managed to take over the world. It seemed that no matter where I traveled, I could always find a McDonald's or a KFC. But fast casual dining was a newer phenomenon that I was eager to explore. This type of restaurant offered the convenience and speed of fast food, but with higher quality ingredients and more diverse menu options. As I looked over the menu, I realized that every dish had a unique cultural influence. There were tacos and burritos from Mexico, stir-fry dishes from China, and falafel wraps from the Middle East. Even the classic burger had been reinvented with toppings like avocado, feta cheese, and spicy aioli. I decided to try the Korean barbecue bowl, a dish that combined marinated beef with rice, vegetables, and a spicy sauce. It was delicious, and I savored every bite. As I ate, I noticed that the other customers were just as diverse as the menu. There were families with young children, groups of friends, and solo diners absorbed in their phones or books. It struck me that this restaurant was a microcosm of the world we live in, where cultures blend and interact in unexpected ways. 
Fast casual dining was a reflection of this globalized society, where people could experience new flavors and cuisines without having to travel far from their own neighborhoods. I left the restaurant feeling satisfied and contemplative. Fast food and culture had always been intertwined, but now they had evolved into something new and exciting. Fast casual dining was a reflection of our interconnected world, where people from all corners of the globe could come together to share a meal and learn about each other's cultures. As I walked down the street, I could see the signs of globalization all around me. There were clothing stores with brands from Italy, technology shops with gadgets from Japan, and even a coffee shop with beans imported from Ethiopia. It was clear that the world was becoming more and more interconnected, and fast casual dining was just one small piece of this puzzle. But as I thought about it, I realized that food was more than just a reflection of culture. It was an essential part of our human experience, a way to connect with each other and share our stories. And in a world that often feels divided and polarized, perhaps fast casual dining could be a small step towards a more unified future. Question How has fast food influenced modern culture? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 12 The Need for Balance. As a nutritionist, Dr. Jones had always emphasized the importance of a balanced diet to her patients. A balanced diet ensured that the body received all the necessary nutrients in the right amounts to keep it healthy and functioning properly. She often advised her patients to practice moderation when it came to their food choices. This meant not indulging in too much of any one type of food or going overboard with portion sizes. It was all about finding the right balance between indulgence and discipline. However, as much as she preached these principles, Dr. Jones found it hard to follow them herself. She was so consumed with her work that she often skipped meals or settled for unhealthy snacks in between meetings. It wasn't tea until she started experiencing fatigue and other health issues that she realized the importance of practicing what she preached. One day, she decided to take a step back and reevaluate her lifestyle. She made a conscious effort to incorporate more whole foods and vegetables into her diet, as well as reducing her intake of processed and sugary foods. By doing so, she was able to get the necessary nutrients her body needed and feel more energized throughout the day. Dr. Jones also adopted a mindful eating approach where she would savor each bite of her food and take the time to appreciate its taste and texture. This helped her to be more present in the moment, rather than rushing through meals and not fully enjoying the experience. Moreover, she started paying attention to portion sizes and would often pack healthy snacks to have on hand throughout the day. This helped to prevent mindless snacking and ensure that she was fueling her body with the right foods. Over time, Dr. Jones noticed that she felt more balanced and in control of her lifestyle. She was no longer constantly tired and could focus better on her work. Most importantly, she realized that by taking care of her own health, she could be a better role model for her patients. Dr. Jones now makes it a point to emphasize the importance of balance and moderation to her patients while sharing her own struggles and successes. She encourages her patients to take small steps towards a healthier lifestyle rather than trying to overhaul their entire diet at once. By doing so, they too can experience the benefits of a balanced and nutritious diet. In conclusion, following a balanced diet and practicing moderation are critical components of a healthy lifestyle. It's not just about what we put in our bodies, but also how much and how often. By adopting these principles, we can take control of our health and well-being, and enjoy a more fulfilling life. Question, what is the importance of balance in consuming fast 